Okay, Lou Depot back here with some math on finding out the flow rate of a circulator or the flow rate of the system and then you can find the circulator. And what flow rate means is gallons per minute. The water traveling through the copper pipe. How many gallons travel through in one minute? That's the flow rate. That's what we're going to find. And there's a simple... Math equation that'll do that. Gallons per minute equals BTUs divided by the delta T times 500. I know it sounds like a boat of in, boatload of information, but I can promise you it's pretty easy. <clears throat> First of all, what delta T is, is the difference. And the difference in boiler water temperature, which we're dealing with, every residential house is about the same when we're talking baseboard or radiators. The water goes out of the boiler at 180 degrees Fahrenheit and returns back to the boiler a little cooler at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you were to do the difference and do the math, 180 minus 160 gives you 20. That's your delta T. That's the difference. So you would take the delta T. Now we have that number. 20 times 500. Well, that's easy enough. It's 10,000. So now, to find out the gallons per minute, what you need to know is BTU divided by 10,000. What's the BTU? Well, we don't know that, but we're going to find out pretty easily. And we're gonna, I'm going to put that up there next. Bear with me. Part 2.